kind of walked in front of the camera and I realized that I've got the heater under the table going, making noise. I've got the dehumidifier going over there. It kicked on, so it's making noise. The furnace kicked on because it's 200 below zero outside, so that's making noise. I've got mystery noise back there, with, I think the refrigerator or something. She, you may not be able to hear me. That light's off. For all I know, that light's putting out some kind of a hum. And you may not be able to hear me over the static. If that's the case, sorry, not sorry, I guess. Um, so it's New Year's Eve, 2019. Still pretty early. It's, uh, well, it's 20 after 7. And I've gotten into the habit the last couple of years of doing like a year in review video as far as pool goes. Uh, of course, I go outside and make my, do my, my personal year in review. But uh, I do the pool one. I don't think this is going to be it. If it is, then that would be weird because I have another topic I want to talk about. And the problem with this topic is I don't feel like I'm completely prepared to discuss it. I do feel like it could be a really good and informative video for me. But I don't think I'm ready. That's not going to stop me. Uh, what I think right now is probably going to happen is I'm going to talk about it a little bit and then add to that same video over the next days or weeks or whatever, but I was having a thought last night about how important the analytical side of pool can be, the knowledge side of things. And as I tend to do, I took that thought and started working and expanding and stuff. And I think for me, pool comes down to three things, good pool, excellent pool, depending on your perspective comes down to three things. It may very well end up being four or five or a hundred. Three is what I'm thinking about right now. And the terminology, I don't quite have that yet, so that's all subject to change. But the first you know, leg of the tripod, I guess, is the mental thing. That is things like focus, and concentration, and attitude, you know, purpose. Uh, it could be mental relaxation in the face of all kinds of distractions. Any of the, the, the mental stuff, okay? Then, uh, clearly, the physical side of things. That's one of the things that I've been messing with most over the last umpteen years. The physical things, the things like consistency of physical style. Repeatability, same thing. Even things like is, is the stroke straight? Is the what is this doing? Is it is it is it dipping down? Is it arcing up? Um, anything physical is in there, and it's usually for me. Well, this works today, and then the next day it doesn't work, so I go to something else. But I have been trying to work a little bit more towards consistency and accuracy, physical accuracy, so that if my brain somehow shuts down or whatever, my body still is still going in pretty much a straight line and I shouldn't suck too awful bad. Not as much as I would with some other styles that are not nearly as textbook styles. So that's the second leg of the tripod. And the third leg of the tripod I, that I mentioned Right, is the, the knowledge side of things, the analytical side of things. I have 85 million books and videos and DVDs that I've been transferring to video, you know, years of experience. I have a lot of knowledge about pool. Things as simple as, you know, left English will throw the ball to the right, will throw the algae ball to the right. Things like contact induced throw, things like a harder bank will come up shorter what top and bottom do, things like that. These are things that I wasn't born knowing and I had to learn. Um, I like to think that I'm continuing to learn things. I spent the last week mapping out a lot of my single rail banks where I kind of had a feeling that it was a certain line. Now I know damn well what the line is for that bank, what the lines that gives me the best odds of success. And that's the knowledge side of things. So, yeah, that's the third leg of the tripod. I said it at the, at the, 
the top of the tripod, supported by those three things, is Obi. I don't know that I've really ever fully defined Obi on a video. Obi is the pull shooter, the inner pull shooter of me. Obi is, if I'm in dead stroke, it's Obi that's doing the shooting. I'm Dave is just along for the ride. That's what that's what Obi. Obi's not necessarily relaxed, physical, and mental, and all that. It can be. It seems to be subject to change, but Obi is just the pull shooter, the goal, the ultimate pull shooter that I can be. That's what that's what that means. So I would like to do a much more drawn out video about each leg of the, of the tripod. I don't know if it's even necessary for a lot of that stuff. I've talked so much about the mental stuff. I've talked so much about the physical stuff. The knowledge side of thing I haven't talked a whole lot about, except every now and then I'll, I'll bring it up. You know, like I said, what does English do? What's a hard shot versus a soft shot when you start talking about contact and do throw and stuff like that? These are things that I know and I don't think you're going to forget by the time you get around to watching this. So it might not be necessary. Right now, I don't know what is going to come in the future as far as what I might add to this video. You know, new, new information, new knowledge, um, a new physical element that I hadn't considered or that I hadn't really tried, uh, a new mental attitude. I've had a couple of doozies this year, mental attitudes that I really like. And maybe something completely different. Maybe there's a fourth leg of this tripod, or quadrupod in that case, I guess. Um, I don't know what that would be, but maybe there's something. You know, magical powers. Maybe if I develop magical powers, that'll be the fourth leg. Probably not going to happen, but I don't want to rule it out. And that's what I want to say. That's what I wanted this video to want this video to be. Maybe what you've been watching here the last couple minutes, maybe that's going to be the video. There's not going to be anything added to it. And if that's the case, that's fine. Um, I wanted to get my point across that that's what I think, is there's just three legs of the tripod, and they're all equally important to Obi. Because if one of them falls, one of them is weak, the whole, the whole uh, tripod falls, Obi hits the ground, splats, it's gross, everybody cries and all that. They've all got to be worked on, and they've all got to be as strong as they can be. I know at times I've focused way more on one thing than another, or more on the other than the one thing. The knowledge thing has kind of been fairly steady, just adding to it, adding to it, adding to it over the years. Um, really working on the knowledge side of things, that's something I've, I've just done this past week. Like I said, mapping and I want no base. Working on that, giving me myself some knowledge. I've, I've had an idea of taking a lot of my books and videos, and trying to find one thing out of each one of those that at the time was very useful in enlightening, added to my knowledge. Maybe I've even forgotten some of those, and it'll be a reminder that I'd be adding to my knowledge. I continue to work on my physical and my mental. I have to continue to work on my knowledge as well. I'm not going to run out. I mean, Alex Pagliani, he said, once you know everything, you can't learn anything. He didn't make that up, I'm pretty sure. But I like that quote a lot, and I've mentioned it a few times in these videos. A lot of the physical stuff, I, I don't like a lot of the advice that I get. I've never been really big on, you will stand this way, your feet will be this far apart, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've been much more... Can you hit the ball in the direction you want, at the speed you want, and in the place that you want? Can you do that? And can you do it consistently? Consistently. Consistently. Um, that's always, I've just been like that. And maybe that was being a little bit naive when I was in my 20s. I could do all that shit consistently. Maybe now I can't so much. And I'm not entirely sure why or if it's even the case. I like learning things, and, and if I like trying things, I like finding new attitudes. So I see no reason to stop and go, okay, I've perfected pull as far as I'm going to be able to do. Time to stop learning now. It's time, time, time to stop 
trying new stuff or, or having a new attitude, I don't see that happening. Because if that was to happen, why would I, why am I even playing pool? Find another hobby. You know, I don't, I don't want to do that. And I have no plans on doing that. I'm just rambling right now. But like I said, New Year's Eve, 2019, I'm freaking believable. Uh, I got to go into work in two days. I'm freaking believable. Um, I may come back tonight. I hope I do come back here tonight with a year in review as far as pool goes. Uh, that's a habit that I like that I developed a couple years ago at least. I want to continue it. And for now, that's it. I may add to this video about the tripod later, but if not, you've got enough to keep you entertained for a few minutes. Okay, this is funny to me. Uh, I've got a prop. So this this is all going to get tacked on in my video about, about the tripod. So there's my prop. It's a tripod. This is a couple days later. I don't remember when I did the other one. This is a Thursday, the 2nd of January. And so if I look at my tripod, let me collapse it a little bit so you can see it. Bear with me. Now, I wasn't prepared to do this. Uh, I just started a different video and I mentioned that I feel like I might be getting a little bit sick. This is, this is my first day at work since uh, Christmas Eve, so it could be happening. So here's my tripod. And the way I described it is I'll be sitting up here. My inner best pool player. The one that's shooting when I'm going to death stroke. I have to find it always. And we're going to ignore this. At least for now. The metaphor that I was using was I've got the mental side of my game. My attitude, my concentration. Things like that. I've got the physical stuff. Consistency. Uh, accuracy. You know, repeatability, same as consistency, I guess. Then I've got the knowledge side. All my book learning and experience and videos and all this and that. And those all help to support Obi. I'm going to add something. That's what I'm going to add. What do you think that is? What do you think this is? You know, because you're the one making the video. But maybe you're even older and more senile than I am now. This is practice. You gotta practice your mental, you gotta practice your physical, you gotta practice your analytical, both by learning new shit and making sure you don't forget the old shit. So this is practice. Pretty cool, huh? If uh if I stop practicing, I'm still gonna have these things. You know, to fall back on a little bit, I guess. I don't want. I don't want to carry the, the whole analogy too far, but ideally, that's what I want. I want to practice, 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 practice. Right. Now, it's possible that someday I'll figure out. Let's say this is the physical. What's that? Some part of the physical. Some other part of the physical. I may be able to carry this thing just to ridiculous levels with this one single prop. I may even figure out what the fuck this centerpiece right here is that I'm holding. For now, I don't. I'm just adding practice. Later.